is John Krasinski going to be playing Reed Richards in the MCU? This has been a huge fan cast for years now. Everybody and their mother wants John Krasinski to play Reed Richards in the MCU. There have been so many photo edits of him. People are dying for it. And with a new Fantastic Four movie on the way, people have been asking even more. And recently, there have been some new rumors and reports that could suggest he has been casted in that role for the new movie coming in a couple years. Now, I will be going into some spoilers for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, so if you have not seen that movie yet, do swipe away now. I'll be going to spoilers in 3, 2, 1. Okay, so John Krasinski was Mr. Fantastic in the movie. I mean, and look, I gave the spoiler warning because everyone yelled at me the other day for like posting a Clea photo, which, by the way, Marvel posted on their official Instagram and Twitter. But look, everyone and their mother knows about this. This photo leaked like two weeks before the movie came out, which actually, I did not look at it till then. And everyone has been talking about this, but because I also do care, I don't want to spoil this. This is, this is probably the only big surprise in that movie, like cameo-wise and fan service wise because... The plot, thankfully, didn't leak. But as far as cameos, there wasn't much of anything else. So this is a really fun surprise for the movie. And yes, I don't want people to be spoiled by it. But odds are, you've seen the movie by now. It's been a couple of weeks. If, so, if you're watching this video, you're clearly a nerd, as I am. And you've definitely seen the movie by now. But <laughs> a little mini rant out of the way. John Krasinski played Mr. Fantastic in this movie. Now, some people think, oh my god, he's been cast in the new Fantastic Four movie, as we Richards now. This confirms it. I, on the other hand, think he will not be now, and that this is pretty much the nail in the coffin proving no, he will not be Mr. Fantastic in Earth 616. Now, I have some rumors and reports that came out after the movie discussing from the writers and people at Marvel talking about the situation a little bit, as well as John Krasinski's future lineup of movies. So I'll be dissecting that and talking about why some things do make sense that he would be cast and some things that sort of disprove it. First, like I said, my opinion is I do not think he has been cast. I think that this was purely for fan service. The fans have been asking for this for years. And I think that in this movie they knew they needed some sort of fun little tease to get fans really excited because, yes, it's multiverse of madness. Some of the fans, including myself actually, expected some sort of cameo and this frankly was the best way to do it, especially if it's only for a couple minutes. Throwing the actor that everybody loves. And because it's my opinion, and I also like to end on a positive note, I'm gonna talk about all the reasons why I think he will not play Reed Richards in the MCU, specifically Earth 616. If I say the MCU, I mean 616. It just is easier for me to, it flows off the tongue better. <laughs> what the heck am I even saying? <laughs> Let's just talk about this. Now I have three reasons why I think he could be Reed Richards in the MCU. The first one is dealing with John Krasinski's lineup of future movies. Now, right now, his main acting role has been in the Amazon Prime show, Jack Ryan, where he plays some sort of CIA secret agent kind of deal where he just fights bad guys. And at least to my knowledge, the show has been pretty successful. But this past weekend, it was announced that it'll be coming back for its fourth and final season, meaning John Krasinski's schedule is opening up. Now, could it be that he needs to have a schedule open because he's joining Marvel and Mr. Fantastic is a big part of the universe? Especially because Tony Stark is gone and Reed Richards is going to be the smartest man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So it could be he is now clearing a schedule so that he could be a part of this universe, which I imagine will be a pretty big part because first Fantastic Four is always a big part in Marvel Comics. But like I said, of course, filling that role of Tony Stark in the MCU. The second thing is that, yes, this was big fan service, but well, the Fantastic Four movie is still very much in early development, and I think putting him in this movie could have been a sort of trial and test for John Krasinski. That being, maybe they want to see how he fits in the role, even for a short time, or see what public perception is of him, all that sort of stuff to gauge whether he'd be a good fit for this role in the MCU for years to come. And the final thing, like I said, the movie is very much in early development, and we don't even know if casting has fully gone underway yet. We don't really don't know to what extent. All we frankly do know is an update that came out like three weeks ago where John Watts, who was the director of Spider-Man No Way Home, he was gonna direct Fantastic Four, but then he dropped out because he wants a break from directing. And now we don't know who the director of the movie is gonna be. <laughs> Which also, people think it could be John Krasinski because of a fun thing and he loves directing now. He's been doing that predominantly, but that's like, fans are saying random stuff. There's like nothing to support that. So don't go around telling people that it's for sure gonna happen. Essentially, this movie's all up in the air. And really, for the positive side of things, that does lend to it that 
there is so much undecided, at least that we know of. And there have been many leaks about it. Even all the leakers have been asked, oh, so is he playing Reed Richards in 616? All of them are just saying, I don't know, too. The main two takeaways for the positive side are that one, John Krasinski's schedule is opening up, and two, the movie's in such early development that even if they don't have it planned, people, for the most part, did like him in the role. I actually didn't love his performance, but still wanted to play him in the MCU. I think, frankly, they just didn't give him enough time and enough material to fully turn himself into Reed Richards. I think he'd be great in the role because he's an amazing actor. In Quiet Place, oh my gosh, he's great in that. So there are all these pieces in motion that could mean it is very much a possibility, especially because he's been in the role now, that he could be playing it in 616. And now on to the negative side. And honestly, I think the negative side has a lot more evidence or like the pro side is a lot more optimistic. But let's go into it. The first thing I want to bring up is fan service. That being, I think the reason he was put in this role was just for that, for fan service. Because this movie itself, the plot was not big into cameos and fan service. It was very much a narrative driven story about Wanda and Doctor Strange. But they definitely know they needed to have some sort of fun in there. So they threw in the Illuminati. And because they got the Illuminati, they got Reed Richards. And this whole lineup of the Illuminati in this movie was very interesting. And I'll go into it actually later because it connects to another <laughs> negative point. But Reed Richards is a predominant member. So of course they're gonna throw him in there. And of course, because of that, they thought, okay, we gotta bring back this old guy who not everybody might know. Or there's this big fan casting that everyone talks about all the time because every time the Fantastic Four movie cops up, that photo of John Krasinski that I'll probably use in the thumbnail goes viral and everyone talks about it again. But I mentioned the roster of the Illuminati and that brings me to my second point of evidence. So in the comics, the Illuminati members switch around a lot. But the ones that everyone thinks about and is like, oh, these guys are the Illuminati are Iron Man, Charles Xavier, Black Bolt, of course, Doctor Strange. And the last two are of course, Mr. Fantastic and Namor. Now, Namor was noticeably not in this roster. And it's been revealed from the writer of Multiverse of Madness that they were considering and did actually want to put him in the movie. But Marvel has some plans for Namor going on in the future. Now, I can't wait. I don't know how to say spoilers. Spoilers for Namor possibly showing up in the MCU if you don't want to hear this. I'll fast forward like a couple seconds, but who? no one cares. And if you, if you, if you care about Namor, you've definitely heard about this. The big rumor is that Namor is gonna be the main villain of Black Panther 2. And they've casted him already and the movie's coming out this year, I'm pretty sure. But the reason they didn't wanna put him in this movie coming out in the same year is to cause confusion. Because look, the general audience still doesn't fully understand the concept of a multiverse and they're gonna get confused. If you see the same guy in the same costume or even slightly different costume, but the same character in one movie and he dies, everyone's gonna be confused and like, why is he alive? in this movie coming out a couple months later. It takes a while for people to understand what the multiverse is and all that fun stuff. Yes, we're nerds, we take it for granted, but the general audience is not ready for that stuff. So to stop that confusion from spiraling out of control, they decided not to put Namor on that roster. So you might wonder, well, why put Mr. Fantastic? You could say it's just because, oh, he has so much brain recognition, everyone knows Mr. Fantastic. Some people don't even know Namor, so why even waste the confusion and putting him on the team. Well, as Mr. Fantastic, both comic book people and the general audience both know him because of the movies that came out, so it's worth it putting him on this team. But also, the Fantastic Four movie isn't coming out for a couple of years, so of course, just throw him on the team. And the idea of confusing the general audience is why I think they put John Krasinski on this roster, because this is a temporary thing and they knew they were gonna kill him off. So they put John Krasinski in this for fun fan service, he dies, then when they recast them, it's super easy for everyone to understand this is Mr. Fantastic of Earth 616, completely separate. And speaking of the writer who is Michael Waldron, I don't know if I said that, I can't remember, I don't think I did. He was also asked in an interview, has John Krasinski been cast as Earth 616? And he pretty much said, I don't know. He said it's a question for somebody else, and that makes perfect sense. And people could say, oh, he's just lying, they don't want to reveal the casting just yet because they want to save that for Comic-Con or some big reveal later on, yada yada yada. I still believe the casting has not fully been underway, it has not been decided yet, because like I said, we don't know much of anything. There's some Jennifer Lawrence rumor from a long time ago, but 
That's been it. So because of all that, I don't think John Krasinski will be Earth 616 Reed Richards. I think this was just a fun, quick little thing. He was in the role for a couple minutes. It satisfies fan service, and it's a way that in the future, it won't confuse the general audience. Now, could I be wrong? Of course, I'm wrong all the time. But seriously, I could totally be wrong. My main thought process was just, yes, it was just fun fan service. And frankly, I think that if he had been cast in the role, we would have heard about it months ago, and they definitely would have also used the publicity to cast the entire family. But also, like I said, the movie is very much in early development. It's coming soon, but also early in development. So the casting is very much up in the air. Maybe they're gonna see all the positive reaction from the fans on social media and think, wow, we should definitely consider John Krasinski for this role. But who knows, maybe they have someone else completely different in mind for the role, and they just wanted to save him for the future, and like I said, not confuse the general audience. But those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think. I think people are actually pretty divided on this topic. Some people say, oh my God, he has for sure been cast. This is set in stone. This all but confirms it. Other people are like me and say, yeah, this is just fan service in no way, shape or form. And the opposite, this pretty much says he will not be playing Reed Richards. So let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. I recorded this at 1am because I delayed it all day. Can you tell? I'm definitely more loopy in this video than I normally am.